Hello everybody, this is Joseph, and this is just another update of Myth uh, QML that I've been making. And uh, I just compiled Qt Creator, so let's see what it ends up looking like. Still having issues with the, the database not, the driver not loading, but that's it. And we have this Myth QML theme here now, this wizard, and as you can see, it drops a lot of files. All the files that one needs for a framework to start making their own theme. All right. I've been having an issue with the icon and it not showing up sometimes. And it takes a little while to load also. So I want to look into those two things and uh, see if I can do something better. Maybe, um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. It takes an incredibly amount of long time to load, as you're seeing here. So I'm actually, maybe I'll pause the video until it's loaded. Oh, here it is. Yes, yeah, see, fail to add it to the version control system. Maybe there's version control in there. Uh, open project anyways. Yes. So here we go. Here's how it works. We start out with focusing our scope so we can use keyboard navigation. And then we start out with start here, which comes from inside of Myth TV. If we open Myth TV up, we can see right here that we have start here. How this mainly works is there's, there's two files. You have a model, okay? Man, in each one of these models has an element. Their element is text in the source that you want to load after, or your next page that you're going to be loading. So let's take a look at that. Let's run this. Uh, here we are. And uh, as you can see, we have just a very simple theme. We can click on buttons, and everything does its deal and loads up and whatnot. And we have a back button to go back, uh, and everything works besides the weather. I'm going to work on that also, too. Um, as we can see, we can actually go to like start here, go over to the designer. And as you can see, we can start going through it and changing the way that it looks. Like the root, we can change the artwork, the background, and we can move things around and whatnot if we want to. All sorts of things that we can do with it bring it to about 50% there, and you can see that's what it does. And if we were to go to say, uh, let's see here, I don't know, just some other one. Anyways, here's all your artwork. You can see here's your background picture, you know, here's your icon, and you can add more. And, uh, but yeah, everything's set up there for you and ready to go, so shouldn't be very hard to make themes. Um, I tried to keep it as limited as I could, uh, very clean code. Um, try it out. Let me know what you think. I um, appreciate it. Have a good one. Be nice to everybody out there.